Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Leos for June 24th through July 1st. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and see what the energy is looking like for you guys this week, okay? Leos for June 24th through July 1st. And keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not apply to every Leo out there. I definitely do advise that you do get a personal reading or check out my other videos. And if you are interested in a personal reading, that information will be listed below for you, all right? Okay, so what's going on with my Leos for June 24th through July 1st? Leos. Oh, interesting. Wow. Okay, I like this. I like this. Okay, give me two cards for my Leo's love life for June 24th through July 1st. And I know you guys' birthday is coming up later on in July. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I'm all oh, this is so cute. Look at the synchronicity, one, one, one. So we got three ones here. Very interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about these cards. Very interesting energy. So Leos, um, you guys really are showing up heavy in your own reading. We got the sun here and we got the angel of strength. And you guys already know you guys are the lion and you guys are the sun in the regular tarot. So definitely your energy is shining bright in this reading already, guys. What I will say is I will commend you guys for your strength when it comes to a lot of things that you guys have been having to endure, okay? And really your spirit guides really want to con. I almost said condemn. They want to commend you for also staying strong as well when it came to a lot of twists and turns that may have been thrown at you, okay? Um, for a lot of you guys, you may have been really just in a space of really keeping it together as the lying you do, really staying strong, really staying resil resilient through all the BS. And I really feel like you guys do need to understand this week that your angels are really backing you. Like they're really backing you. They really want the best for you. They always want the best for you. Um, I really feel like though this week, the door to personal healing and happiness is going to be opening up for a lot of you guys. And this is healing and happiness that you guys have really been waiting for for some time. And I feel as if you guys are able to really leave some old traumas behind finally and walk through this new door of opportunities where there is going to be healing from the past wounds that you guys have suffered and also a sense of happiness that will be coming in for you guys. For a lot of you guys, what needs to happen is also you guys tuning into your heart chakra, really making sure that you guys are opening your heart to love and also being a beacon of love like spreading love around to people near and dear to you like people that you care about this could be family this could even be strangers um but just making sure that you guys are really paying attention to your heart chakra this week okay and a really good crystal that does help with that is rose quartz i actually sell rose quartz if you guys ever want to get that um now, this is cherry quartz. I'm not going to touch that. But yes, I sell rose quartz bracelets. So if you guys are wanting rose quartz, shameless plug, I have that on the side as well. All right. <laughs> but yes, um, moving past that as well. Um, at first, I did get a little concerned with the storm warning card that did pop up. But this is storm. This is a storm warning of victory. This is a storm warning of you overcoming some BS. OK, you guys really being triumphant past any sort of obstacles or things that people try to throw at you. People will not be successful. OK, and I have to say people because for some of you guys, you may have enemies or people out there who conspire against you. And I feel like any sort of conspiring that people may be doing against you will not happen or will not work okay and a lot of you guys even through any sort of like situations that may seem like a disaster or things that may have fell apart for you it was for your own good to lead you to your own victory if that makes sense this reading I love it guys <laughs> I love this reading 
But for a lot of you guys, like I said, some happier energy is coming for coming in for you guys. For some of you guys, this could even be like a new job or just some sort of blessings really coming in for you guys. And I really feel like since we're getting closer and closer to your birthday season, I feel like things are really going to start looking up for you. And with the cornucopia card, for some of you guys, the blessings is going to come in a form of money. This could be blessings in um, an abundance of opportunities, what have you. But I really feel like a lot of you guys this week, some good shit's going to happen to you guys. As long as you guys are like continuously pushing forward and not letting any sort of situations that come up deter you, you guys will be victorious this week. Alrighty, so what I am seeing here for your love life, I do have getting to know each other and passion. And with both of these cards, I feel as if for some of you guys, there may be a newer person that you guys may be meeting this week, or you may already, um, you may have already met this person and you guys may be in this process of really opening up to each other and like, you know, playing 21 questions and all the little courty stuff that people do when they first start talking to each other. Um, for others of you, you may already know this person, like you may have already been dealing with this person, but as you guys continuously deal with each other this week, it may be very eye opening for you when it comes to certain things that you may have not really realized about the person that you're dealing with. Um, and for a lot of you guys, I feel as if you are having some sort of chemistry with someone here. Okay. Um, definitely some sort of chemistry for some of you guys, you may be very attracted to this person sexually and there may be that sexual chemistry there as well. All right. And that's all I'm gonna say, but let's go ahead and look more in depth with what's going on with you guys. Again, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So only take what did apply to you. All right. So what's going on with my Leos for June 24th through July 1st? Leos for June 24th through July 1st. What's going on with my Leos? All right, three more shuffles. Leo, June 24th through July 1st. Alrighty. So the energy coming into this week, last week's energy, the guidance, the obstacle, and the outcome. Alrighty. So let's get straight into this. So what I'm seeing here for a lot of you guys, again, I feel like a sense of happiness and a sense of completion emotionally is very much here for you guys. I feel like this is coming in for you after you go into a space of really going within. For some of you guys as well, this may be like a family member, a Virgo or something like that you may be having some issues with. I had to mention that. But for others of you, this is just like you guys going within to really look at what's been like on your plate or what's been energetically holding you back from doing what you need to do. Whether this is old baggage, um, old situations that really don't even matter anymore, or you guys just running around with your head cut off with too much going on. Okay. But I feel like there's some sort of shift that is going to be taking place as far as you guys letting go of this energetic baggage. And there's going to be healing after you guys being emotionally confused for some time or really not knowing which direction to go in when it comes to getting a new opportunity in life and really just in some unstable energy for some time. But I really feel like you guys will be doing what you need to do or you will be making the moves necessary to change your situation, okay? Especially for a lot of you guys, you already know what you needed to do for some time. You just may have needed to actually understand that you have the tools necessary to change your situation around, if that makes sense. But coming into this week, I do have the chariot and with the chariot being here, I am seeing that you are very much focused on your goals, what you want to accomplish, which is goals, um, and also moving past any sort of uh, issues that you may have been stuck in for some time. And you may also be dealing with the cancer as well with this energy. 
But clarifying it, I do have the Seven of Cups. So yeah, you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be emotionally confused about this person. For others of you, this is you trying to move past emotional confusion from the get-go. And really focus on your level of abundance or even getting grounded. All right. And for some of you guys as well, you may have a child with the cancer. And again, what's going on with your connection may be a little confusing to you. But what I am seeing for last week's energy, I do have the justice card. And with this, I am seeing for some of you guys, there could have been like a legal situation that may have came up or some sort of lawsuit. For others of you, this could have been you trying to make things right with someone. All right. This could have been a Libra. Or it could have been like a Sagittarius or a Taurus or whatever sign you're dealing with. But there may have been a level of, again, emotional confusion with you trying to make things right within your commitment. All right. But what I am seeing here for the guidance for this week, I do have the Wheel of Fortune or not Wheel of Fortune, the World card. And with the world card, this is you guys allowing a cycle of BS to really close out. With this, this is a completion of you just going through a life cycle, something that you did have to learn. And with this is you guys really getting the full understanding of what the lesson was when it came to certain situations that you guys were stuck in. All right. Why was there stagnancy? All right. And for a lot of you guys, it's time for you to get to work. It's time for you to put things in place when it comes to your business. And also when it comes to your love life, there is a need for you and your partner to work together when it comes to rebuilding the connection and working on communication as well, especially if you're dealing with the Capricorn or where there's just been toxic energy between you and another person in your connection and other people. But what I am seeing here for the obstacle or issue that may be present this week, I do have the Six of Cups. And this may be issues with somebody from your past or, again, somebody who you have kids with. There may be some issues with that person. Um, you may be wanting to get something started or this person may be wanting to get something started. But there may be issues with that because there is a need for you guys to think about the long term. Um and also, again, this turning the back on an extra party, like there may be another person involved. OK, and for some of you guys, you've been waiting or you've been investing time and energy into this relationship for some time. But you may be feeling as if this person hasn't been offering you enough as well. But the last card, this is going to represent the energy you're going to end the week off with. And this is the lover's card. And with the lover's card, this is you guys making some head over heart decisions. This is also you guys being in some sort of connection here, possibly with an air sign or somebody who's operating out of this air sign energy, which is very detached. Um, and you, like I said, you may be clearing some things up with this person and really trying to stay strong when it comes to rebuilding this. And again, I feel like an opportunity will be extended to you, possibly by a Gemini or again, somebody with these characteristics of being kind of flaky or detached at times. This person also may be stalking your social media. Like before they try to offer an opportunity to see where things could go, they may like stalk your social media or ask people around that know you and them like about you or what okay or this may be you guys before you try to offer an opportunity to them i feel like you guys may overwatch tarot reading so really take it easy on that okay but that's what i'm seeing for you guys i really hope that i was able to give you some sort of clarity or guidance with your situation if this did resonate make sure you like this video comment below and subscribe and i will see you beautiful leos in your next one bye guys